Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to make funeral programs and one way out of two ways that I'm going to show you today and one way is using a free app called Canva and this is available in your Play Store and this is what Canva looks like and we're just going to go at the top and type in funeral programs and all these programs pop up and you're just able to choose one and design it so we're just going to find one for today just so you guys can get a feel of how to do it so always inside of your funeral programs include an order of service so people know what what's going on, who they're going to be seeing, and what that person will be offering to the service. So always include that. So for today, we're just going to choose, I think I'm going to go with, um, let's go with this one. So you just have to wait for it to come up. Normally it just pops up, but so we're just going to change this picture. So we're just going to go down here. I'm just going to find a random, random picture. Or you know what? I'm just going to go to images and search for somebody. Um, but normally you would just go to your camera roll and find the picture of the deceased to include. So we're just going to find a uh, older person. So all these images pop up and again you'll just be using pictures out of your camera roll but for the sake of this video I'm just going to choose somebody or you know what I'm just going to leave the lady well I just wanted to I'll just do him so say that this is my grandfather and he unfortunately passed away so we're just going to keep it like that and you get to customize this and we're going to change his name to Paul or we're going to call him Grandpa Paul And then obviously you would do his birth date and then his end date. And then we hit done. And then if you scroll, you can bring up another tablet. You can, if you want to customize this some more, you can do so. So we're just, or if you hit that one at the bottom. So these two like paper like things are duplicates and this plus it's just a blank screen just to add another page. So we're going to go back to this one. And you can delete the second one since it is a duplicate just by hitting the trash can. And then this is what we can do. We can. Now we can do like an order of service. Because this is everything that popped up. So we're just going to do an order of service. Because remember I said that, that it will be a great thing to have into your funeral program so we're gonna go hit the three again and we're gonna get rid of this blank page by hitting the trash can and now grandpapa has his memorial his cover page and then his order of service and again this is all custom you can customize this all to however you choose to and now we're just gonna duplicate this page right here to order of service and then we're gonna write some some stuff about Grandpa Paul. Let's just say, um, and then you're gonna do like his like his obituary right here. Say that you want to do like um, you know where he grew up, what he did during his lifetime, how many grandchildren, just a little story about Grandpa Paul. So people know exactly how grandpa paul was and um how you know his life story his back story about grandpa paul and the stuff that he achieved during his lifetime if he was in the army you want to include that if he uh, was married you want to include that uh how long he had a career for you know you just want to give people a story about grandpa paul because you never know who out there didn't know a lot of this stuff um or who never or who who just wants to uh a record of uh, uh something to just keep grandpa paul 
you know, like, oh, okay, this is what Grandpa Paul did. So you just want to keep just, you know, the obituary should be like a story of the lifetime of Grandpa Paul. Another page to include, include some pictures throughout the years of of uh, the deceased. And include, like, you can do, like, a page and color of different pit of different pictures followed by poems followed by um uh any type of notes or any type of uh sympathy notes that other people have submitted and sent in to remember the deceased you also want to thank the funeral home inside of your funeral inside of your um obituary or whoever handled the service whatever company handled the service you also want to include the burial, um, who the pallbearers are, or however, you know, if the deceased is cremated, maybe you want to uh, put that company in there who where the urn is coming from, or maybe uh, the deceased had their last wishes to be scattered somewhere like in a forest or they to be scattered over the ocean. So you just, you know, I will find like a nice poem uh related to where they would like their ashes their ashes to be spread it so if they wanted their ashes to be spread it across the ocean i will also i would definitely include the ocean that they're you know uh over that they're in and just like a nice little to like a nice little poem and then just say you know the next time that you're at the, the Pacific Ocean or the name of the beach, you know, just know that I'll be there with you. Or maybe if they loved hiking or something, every time you take a walk, I'll be with you. You know, something like that, that just where it, when people visit this place, if it's like a public place or, you know, like the ocean, a lake, somewhere, just let them know where that person is scattered about and that, you know, they're always there with them, you know, something to pull on their heartstrings to remember that that person and they'll look forward to visiting that place because they know that the deceased is there somewhere in the air. Um, another thing you can include, you don't want to make the obituary too, too long, but if you choose to, that's perfectly fine and people would not be mad at that because they are there to remember the deceased and that you know that's what they want they want to they want the memories they want to be able to still feel and hear and just be close with the deceased so do your funeral programs however you choose to um and you can also send stuff like this off off to like staples somewhere to get printed always try to look for coupon codes uh, discounts, even ask for a discount, you know, let them know what the situation is to see if they can offer any type of uh, assistance with decreasing the price. But how you would save this obituary is at the top right hand corner, the top, uh, yeah, right hand corner. You see these two arrows, one is pointing downwards, so that is white, and the other one is pointing upwards, which is blue. So you're going to hit the white button. And as you see, preparing design. So now it's going to download to my phone. And again, my phone's moving a little slow because I have a lot of stuff on my phone. And make sure that you, you know, take the time to, su to subscribe because I have a lot of more tutorials. I have a lot more to offer uh, because, believe it or not, Funerals are events, and this is what we do here at Our Bear Wedding Boutique. We are a virtual wedding and event company that helps in, that helps engage couples and individuals plan a memorable experience virtually. We have a lot of resources available, um, and always check our just our YouTube description box for what we have going on. So that's what we have, and also definitely for this video, check the description box because. We have a how to plan a funeral reception uh, tutorial class. So definitely look in the description and click the link and go ahead and enroll in that class because it's a lot of helpful information in there to get you guys to plan a very memorable but affordable funeral for the deceased. So my it has already downloaded to my phone. So we're going to go. And as you see right here, 
there's Grandpa Paul, and all you got to do is just um, send this off to get printed somewhere, or maybe you also want to have it like a visual to like displaying during the service. So I'm going to show you how to do that right here, right now. And we're going to head over to a app that I love to use, which is called Vlog Star, and we're going to hit start new project. We're going to go at the top here and choose the order in which we want the picture. So I want that one first, followed by that one, followed by that one. Hit add. And as you see there, and now we're going to add some sound to this uh, presentation because you always want sound, always want like some sad music, some calming music, some soothing music during this difficult time. So we're going to go and Vlogstar does offer copy copyright free music so we're going to head down to the bottom right here and hit sound and now we're going to find like we can go with soothing or sad so i want to go with sad to see what they have so i'm not really i don't really like that one too too much So I might go with this one. And all you gotta do as you see here is the heart and then a downwards arrow. You're gonna hit that downwards arrow. And then you're gonna hit the plus, and now there you have it right there. And it'll be great when you once you add the pictures and other stuff like that as well. And we're going to kind of slow this down so it can give people enough time to kind of like just read. So you don't want to have it too slow. You don't want to have it too fast. So we're going to do about like, like that. So let's see how slow that is. So that's still kind of fast. So let's see. So you guys kind of get the hint and if you want to make this picture longer so that's what you probably have to do is just extend whatever it is that you got going on in your obituary and this is just for the presentation part this is not what you want to do for your actual program but this is what you want to do something like this you want to extend it so it can have it could play longer um, or maybe you want it shorter just so it can, you know, just so people can get settled inside of their seats or just have something to kind of look at. But in your presentation, like again, like I said, include more pictures, include the deceased, um, whatever they have going on. And you can also include video inside of this as well. Um, let me show you how to do some video. So we're just going to do it after the order of service right here we're going to hit this plus button then we're going to go over to stock footage and as you see there's a whole bunch of stuff here that we can do so let's do some nature let's just put kind of put like some nature in here just to kind of um really set the tone and again like i said before if the deceased wanted their ashes spread over like a body of water we can, um, you know, just kind of give them a visual, kind of. So this right here says, clip contain audio, audio of unsupported format. Remove audio from these clips. Um, let's see what remove audio has. To... So, or maybe you want to move this. 
So as you see, the sequence has come to the bottom and you're able to move these around. If you just hold on to it and just kind of do something like that. So maybe you want to do it like that. Have the ocean after the picture. So let's see, let's play it to see kind of. And I think you'll be able to extend the, the um the music to go throughout and again if you want to add more music you can do so as well or maybe you say you want to reverse this And you can always, you know, fix it afterwards too. Um. And this right here is just making this slower. And then this is So for duration, I think it's going to be like something slow. mark so let's see or you know what I also want to show you how to put more music in here without just keeping so I'm gonna do part of the video with that sound and I'm gonna do another sound from soothing So let's just deal with that. So let's go back here and kind of play it. So this is how you make not only a funeral program, but a funeral uh, presentation as well using Vlogstar and Canva. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you like this presentation. And if you had took this tutorial and made your own presentation, I would love to hear from you down below. Again, click the link um, in my bot, click the link in my description and take full advantage of the how to plan a funeral reception tutorial class where I give you some more helpful programs and help you and helpful um, ways to create a memorable experience for uh, the funeral reception or repas as some people call it. And again, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorials and more uh 
step by steps and just overall more content until next time oh and then how you would um save it you just export it And then it will show up in your picture gallery. Then you just want to hit save and then it will show up in your picture gallery for you to go ahead and use for the presentation at the funeral. So um, until next time.